I'm going to show you a case where we performed a correction of a hive lens deformity using a zadic percutaneous osteotomy. Now this is a particularly important case because the patient had an injury at work some years ago and ended up developing uh, chronic regional pain syndrome which she calls RSD of course since the older terminology but we're going to use RSD because the patient is familiar with that, that terminology and she had RSD in her right lower extremity. So when she came in to see me, she was having a lot of pain with the back of her heel with a Haglund's deformity. And it was so bad that she couldn't even walk with it, even though she was actually wearing a brace because of some drop foot issues in this foot. So she was just having a time and couldn't hardly do anything. So let's just kind of look at this, this patient. Here's her, her x-rays. You can see the Haglund's deformity. Not a real severe uh, issue, but if you look at it clinically, you can see she has a pretty big bump on, in, out, on you know, clinically. And this is hurting her in shoe gear and hurting the brace she has to wear as well. So there's a little lateral view once again of weight bearing. So what we did we made a percutaneous incision away from our serial nerve. We mapped that out to make sure we wouldn't injure that. And underscored that with a rasp. And then we took a 3-1 burr and began to remove the exostosis uh, from the bone. We do this under the C-arm of course or the fluoroscopy. We did this in the office. And this, this uh, spur comes out as a paste that's washed out and then hand rasped as well. So what we do with step one, there's a little cartoon of that, we basically make the percutaneous incision and we remove the Haglund's deformity. This is how that looks radiographically once that's uh, removed. We then begin to make an osteotomy which is going to be a wedge shaped osteotomy with the, with the base dorsal and this is the cartoon picture of that. This is the Zadic uh, osteotomy here. This is going to be made and feathered at the bottom and pushed uh, anteriorly. So you're basically going to push the, ankle, the heel forward. This is how the osteotomy looked on the, on the fluoroscopy. Now once that's done, you can push this osteotomy together by, by feathering it. Or you can actually use K-wires and put K-wires through the heel and push that together by separating the K-wires. These can be placed before the osteotomy as well. So once that's closed down, it begins to look like this. I actually pushed this together and used K-wires on her. I just pushed it with my hand. That's our pre-op x-ray. Look at the Haglund's deformity. And this is her x-ray now two years later, post-operatively. You can see where we took the spur off and pushed the heel forward. The osteotomy actually took a little more bone than what it, you actually can appreciate from the from the fluoroscopy. And now we're going to let the patient kind of talk to you about her pain and how much better she is. So her foot now, if you look back here, we can kind of see it's a it's a much more much more improved. Uh, you know, it doesn't she doesn't have the big huge uh, bump she had before. You can see where we made our incision, and this is where we kind of took the sprawl. And what we did, we, we mapped out our serial nerve to make sure we're not going to hit that. That would be right here. So when we made our osteotomy, we made it in this, this direction here and actually folded the bone forward. And what that does is actually it shifts the Achilles tendon forward as well. So you can do that. It, it does shorten the bone to some degree, so it gives you a little more. Uh, it, you know, it's not for every patient. But for her, with that large Haglund's deformity, trying to get all that out was kind of be, going to be kind of hard. Now, she has RSD in this foot from a car, wasn't it a car wreck you had? What? Lifting patient. That's right, she got injured at work and it had, has RSD in this foot, so she has a lot of issues here. So we, that's the reason I didn't, I decided not to do an open surgery on her. I thought it would be too risky for her. And we're just trying to get her better. Now, let me ask you this, before we did this surgery on you, from zero to 10, what was your, what was your pain? A 10 plus. 10 plus, so she said it's 10 plus before, before the surgery. And I know you have RSD, but now as far as the heel goes, what's your pain level now at zero to ten? About one. About a one. So that's a good improvement. We've gone from a from a score of about ten to to uh, to one in terms of pain. That's a pretty good result. And obviously the the bump's gone, so we got a great result with this. Um, this she was a perfect patient to try this on because of the caves deformity, and also to, uh, also because of the RSD. I didn't want to do a lot of disruption here. Uh, in my in my conventional surgical days, I would have made a, a, a split in t the tendon in the middle where you've gone to the side and removed that. So this Zadik uh, 
uh, procedure is pretty pretty good for MIS surgery. It's easy to perform, allows you to push the bone forward. And what that basically kind of does, if you think about it, uh, when you when you advance the, the bone forward like that in that, that V, you're basically kind of performing almost a Murphy's procedure. So you take some of the pressure off of this Achilles tendon as well. So she's she's happy. She's a lot better than what she was before.